Hey guys, Ryo be King back again today to make another video. Sorry it's taken so long due to some inconveniences in life, but I am back now. Uh, but I'm going to start this off today with this video with the Ryobi uh, Power Sprayer, if you want to call it that. So let's go ahead and see, uh, see how it does, and uh, I'll let you know whether or not you guys should go pick this up or not. So stay tuned. So just by getting a little over glance of the tool, you can tell it is pretty large. Uh, and when you put the 9 amp hour battery in it, it makes it quite unwieldy just for spraying off a vehicle. So I would definitely suggest the 4. So to come out with truth first, whenever we started using this tool initially, we all liked it. My dad liked it, I liked it, we thought it worked pretty good. Um, it's, it's better than breaking out a big power washer. Um, but you'll see the three different settings. There's three different settings on this tool. We found that all of the settings are pretty much the same as far as power. Even the setting that's labeled turbo, it doesn't really seem to be any more powerful. Um, and the other big downside that I found is even when you hook it to the hose, it's still not any more powerful than if you just drop it in the bucket. Um, one thing that I thought to try, and you'll see that here, is I, I tried using the, the bucket full of soap. So, in other words, to soap the vehicle first and then be able to spray it off. That didn't even work very well because the mesh at the end doesn't allow enough soap into the actual gun itself. So, it, at the end of the day, it's basically just a sprayer. You don't really get to use it for any kind of a soap feature or anything. Another big disappointment is this little piece right here. These quick disconnects and stuff. They seem to be made of some of the cheapest plastic I've ever seen Ryobi use. So I can't imagine these will last very long. Yeah guys, you've always known me as being truthful as far as my reviews. I don't let any brand particularly persuade me. Yes, I like Ryobi. But at the end of the day, this tool right here, I think it's a bust. Uh, I personally think you should go out and buy a $12 little adapter that goes on the end of your hose and I think you'll get more power out of the hose than you will out of this tool. And the amount of weight that you have to carry with this tool, it really does not give you any performance difference so it's not really worth it. Plus you gotta spend the $75 price tag. Yes it's reasonable when compared to other brands that have the same product but I don't see it being worth that kind of money. Uh, one good thing I think you could use this for is if you're someone that has maybe sided house and you're starting to get mold and stuff on it, you can buy that stuff and spray it up on your house. This would do a pretty good job at doing that, I think. Um, I don't see anywhere in the instructions where it says not to use that kind of chemical in this tool, so it should work pretty good for that. So to wrap up this review, essentially what I gotta say is yes, it does spray off your vehicle. The soap bucket feature, being able to drop it into a bucket, yeah, you don't want to use it for soap, but if you just need to be able to spray something off with water, I think that'll work well for that. Um, at the end of this this journey of spraying off this vehicle and using this tool, um, it was still look dirty. I don't think it did a very good job of cleaning the vehicle. Um, I think I could have done a better job with a lot of hand work and it would have came out cleaner in the end so that's just my review guys and that's just my opinion if you want to try it out feel free um you know i just in my opinion i feel like it's a bust from ryobi so thank you guys for coming and watching this video today i will have more videos coming out soon so stay tuned and uh subscribe like share it to all your friends and i'll see you guys next time Hey guys, thanks for coming and watching today. If you like this video, click on one of my other videos above. And I'd like to thank SMS Woodworks for subscribing. As always, you new subs make me, make me enjoy life. So keep subscribing and keep following. Thanks.